scared of turkey. Daryl was excited about having Jessica's Thanksgiving at well, at Thanksgiving at Jessica at his friend's house. Then his mom said the word vegetarian while they were stopped at a red light. There what Daryl asked. Vegetarian beer, it means they don't eat meat, his mom replied. I know what it means, Daryl snapped. It, this is a hot luck. So, right, so someone else will bring the turkey double. I doubled it. His mom said, They asked everyone to bring vegetarian dishes. Having no turkey on Thanksgiving is just a plan crazy. How are they going to make stuffing there on no, Monday? No I'm going to starve. You might be surprised, his mom said with a wink, but Daryl didn't, didn't believe her. I need more than rabbit food for Thanksgiving, he muttered. His mom laughed as they pulled into the driveway of Jessica's house. Jessica bursted out the front door looking excited to see the, them. She gave Daryl and his mom big welcome hugs for talking them inside, taking them inside. She introduced them to her parents and other guests in Daryl's mind. Her parents looked a little too well fed to be vegetarians. I want to show you the dining room, Jessica's mom let me decorate it this year. And I made the salad. The dining room was fully decorated chain chains of different colored construction paper paper hung from every including everything including around the ch chairs. Jessica had even woven multicolored placements for each place at the table. How are we supposed to sit down there? I hadn't thought of that. Jessica laughed. I guess we just have to break the chains. Oh, the, on the table sat the biggest bowl of salad Daryl had ever seen. Green leafy things stuck out from the top. He could also make out onions, carrots, tomatoes, and what might have been bets. So this is it, Daryl asked. Looking at the salad, how much would he have to eat to feel full? Isn't it fantastic, Jessica asked. Oh, it's wonderful. The best I've seen, Daryl said it was an impressive salad, but it was only one, only a salad. He did not, he didn't want to be rude. He thought maybe, and he and his mom could get some real food afterward. They, then, then they could laugh about their. guinea pig thank thanksgiving i'm glad you like it jessica said we usually play board games until dinner is ready want to play sure daryl said confused it looked to him as they thought dinner was ready playing board games with everyone was 
a blast, and Daryl met some cool people. Most of the guests weren't vegetarians either. I never had a better dinner than I've had in this house, said one. This family should open a restaurant, said another Daryl figure. They were being polite because Jessica's family was right there either that or they or they really liked Sally. Finally, Jessica's mom said it was time to eat and everyone filled into the colorful dining room. The room had changed. Every, every surface was filled with plate, bowls, and dishes of food. food. Daryl didn't know who the names of the names of half of them. Everyone broke through the chain, sat down, stared the the passing the food around. There were mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, bean, and cheese tamales, tamales, and vegetarian chili. Chili. Someone had brought the a. Someone had brought a small vegetarian turkey that jiggled on the table and tasted nothing like turkey. Daryl tried some sweet potato and yams, which he learned are two different plants. He also learned that stuffing made without turkey is called dressing. He even had some of Jessica's salad, told her he loved it because he did. After the dessert, Mom leaned over and whispered, I told you that you'd be surprised. There, Daryl opened his mouth to talk about. Then he leaned back in his chair with a sigh. I'm too full to argue, he said.